you know, we're in the wide open country here in Wyoming and spot and stock hunting with a bow is never easy. So we actually wrecked the curve on this trip. You know, it's about an average of 21 stocks it takes to put the herd on an antelope, as, as they say. And this was number five or six, we lost count. So we're a little bit of a curve wrecker, I guess, but we'll take it. It is bright and early the second morning of archery season and yesterday we had a fun encounter with a with an antelope he responded to the decoy but ended up seeing the vehicle um, that was behind us which is not what we had planned he came in a little bit too fast and we were hoping to get around the corner on him but anyway had a fun encounter and we're just out here first thing in the morning looking bright and early we been up since about four o'clock this morning to drive to our spot to get here and some antelope way 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 out there we're gonna go get a closer look and uh, see if there's something in there to go after We spotted a whole mess of antelope down in this valley. We're gonna find a way to get to them, but we thought we better bust out the optics first to see if it's even worth going after them. It's gonna be kind of hard to get to them. The temperature is starting to rise. I've got this lightweight, super thin layer. Almost feels like air conditioning with the wind blowing through it on. That's why I've got the hood put up, pulled up, trying to shield our skin so we're not shining like a beacon. Yeah, he should be straight up there. Because of this, he should be straight that way, right through that sagebrush. Because I looked through where he was embedded. And I backed out with the binoculars and kind of planned our route. And I think we need to go this way through that little swale and then crawl through that sagebrush and get up there. I think we'll be right on him. switch on us a little bit we dropped down and started crawling and uh, he couldn't hear us there's no way so he just started running away and that was the end of that the last ditch effort we threw up the decoy figured it wouldn't work but so there's a try I guess so we're gonna start the jaunt back to the suburban and try fun no I still haven't really seen how big he is. He seems respectable, but 
get a good look at him and maybe we can put a move on him. Antelope down, baby. Scott and Hunter, my boy, they were waiting back, uh, what, probably 20 yards behind yeah. me? And he probably, where he was bedded, I suppose he was probably 30 yards from here, and then he walked a little ways, maybe 10 yards away, so it was about a 40 yard shot. Uh, but we're just gonna go see if we can find the arrow, give him plenty of time. And uh, man, this has been a long time coming. I've had so many close calls with antelope spot and stock with a bow, and it finally happened. <laughs> this is like sweet redemption. So uh, this is opening week to uh, here in Wyoming. And we're uh, just having fun chasing the critters around. Oh baby. Check that out. Man, I'm so jacked I can't even stand it. Well, here he is, my 2016 archery buck. After a few years of frustration and close calls, uh, uh, we saw this respectable guy and uh, he put a nice stock on him and we actually watched him go down through the binoculars and everything, just the way it's supposed to happen. So uh, remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game. 